Okay, well, it's been a couple weeks since I've been in my newly acquired RV with a lot that I own right by the beach. And wanna, I want to tell you how I feel after a couple weeks being here. And again, this is my unit, the main living area and dinette. I did a whole tour of the RV in my initial video, but I'm going to take a seat and share with you my thoughts. So my thoughts are that I feel good overall. So that's a positive sign. I don't feel regretful. Uh, and after a big purchase, uh, any purchase over $5,000, whether it's a car, RV, house, any big purchase could lead to regret because it's a big amount of money. But I will say that I don't really have buyer's remorse. I do have uh, some level of adjustment to a different lifestyle. However, what I want to share is I really have not dramatically changed my lifestyle. And that was key. And that's why it took so long to purchase a home base and to, and I'm still settling in. You know, number one is I really have only been using my home base for nighttime. I still focus on my daily routine. I've often shared that your life is your daily routine. And my five years on the road, I really focused on continuing to improve myself. I worked a lot on myself even before I, I hit the road, uh, physically, financially, emotionally, but we're always growing. And I didn't put the emphasis on my vehicle. I didn't put the emphasis on my travel destinations. I put my emphasis on maintaining a routine that's healthy and sustainable and anything above that is cherry on the top in life, whether it's a vehicle, a home base, etc. Self-care, top priority. I've been saying it on my channel for five years since I started this channel. And I mean it because I practice what I preach. And so my daily routine has not really changed. You know, I still wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. the latest. I still go to Starbucks. I have not made coffee here at the home base yet. I haven't cooked anything here yet. I don't plan to initially. Why? Because I've only been here for a couple weeks and I really don't want to change my daily routine. Um, and what I found in owning a home uh, prior to when I hit the road, you know, after you buy groceries at the store and after you spend time getting them, taking them home, preparing them, the cost benefit, the cost benefit is really not that great. Uh, but it's an option. Right now, again, I've only been here for a couple weeks. I just recently launched a video of showing me in my uh, acquiring my home base. So now I'm still settling in. I mean, I'm going to take a, a couple months uh, and just continue to maintain my same lifestyle and really just use this as a nighttime refuge, a sanctuary at night. And periodically, I'm going to gradually spend some more time here if it fits into my lifestyle. And it does. That's why I bought it by the beach. That's why I bought it in close proximity to Starbucks, gyms, etc. And, you know, like as an example, it's Sunday as I make this. And, you know, it's mid-afternoon. I was um, going for a walk. I'm going to go on the beach a little bit later. And then I'm going to go uh, grab something to eat at the local market, get a salad. And then I'm going to go for a walk in a public park. And then I'll come back here at night. And so I'm not going to cling to a home base. I'm not going to let it dictate my life. You know, that's again why I took time because it's it's not easy to do, you know, but I still feel the freedom. Whereas if I want to leave here and go stealth camping or at a campground or whatever it may be, I still have that option. This is just a resource. So for me, it's a matter of, you know, this is just a savings account that I sit in. You know, one friend that I had and I talked to personally during this process, he said, Sam, look, you know, you got to look at it as, is, as long as it's below your means, it's an asset allocation. Meaning that, you know, instead of money being in the bank, uh, it, it's in a house. And instead of you being able to withdraw it from a bank, you go sit in a house. So don't touch your emergency fund, but use a certain amount of money, whether you're going to use it for a down payment or whether you're going to pay for cash, that's individual. Use that money if you want to diversify into a home base. And I debated that for a while because, again, I look at the amount of time I'll spend in the home base. But this is what I will say. Five years being on the road, I know I want to spend 90% of my time in South Florida. 
Uh, so that leads me to allocate more resources to where I want to spend 90% of the time. Uh, I will say this, uh, to purchase a, a, a lot that you own in an RV that's almost brand new for under 200000 right on the beach, uh, you know, I'll take that and I'll just continue to, this is a long-term plan. Uh, now, again, can a hurricane come and totally devastate this RV? Yes. Uh, will that make me upset? Sure. But I own the land. Um, and I'll just, uh, put another, I'll probably put another small RV here or whatever it may be. And maybe down the road, if I'm still here 20 years ago, from now or whatever, maybe I'll just have a class B in a regular car. Uh, but some of my thinking was I want to maintain a regular car. I don't want to drive an RV every day, all day. And, uh, I'm going to keep my six year old car with 225,000 miles. And hopefully that lasts for another three years. This RV is five years old, so my hope is that it could last another 10, 20 years. That would be ideally. Uh, I'll keep enough flexibility to adapt if things change. But I feel good. Um, again, this is all still new. Uh, it's only like my second week being here. Uh, but my plan was to be by the beach, to not let it affect my daily routine, to use it as a sanctuary, to use it as a, a safety or a hedge or a diversity or a balanced life. Balance, balance. Balance is boring. Okay, no one likes a balanced diet. You don't watch videos about balanced diets. You watch videos about extreme food, eating McDonald's for 24 hours straight. Uh, you know, something extreme like that, eating 20 hamburgers at once, right? So, you know, it, it was not easy. I want to tell you, you guys saw the past couple of years as I got more serious about a home base or buying an RV or what I wanted to do. It wasn't easy. Uh, and it's a very hard thing and it, there's more responsibility financially, but there's also more security personally and long-term it could be a good financial plan versus buying a, a RV, staying on the road long-term, you know, you could get priced out of the housing market. Um, but like I say, don't buy a house just because of that. You know, you got to figure out where you want to live. You got to figure out your daily routine, uh, you know, and look, worst case scenario, if I really don't like this lot, I'll sell it. Even if I sell it for a loss, I've lost more money in trying to make more money, day trading and things like that, than I would uh, even if this dropped 50% in value, God forbid. So that kind of helped me too. I said, Sam, you've already experienced life where if you own nothing and you save too much and you allocate a certain amount to risk and you lose it, then you feel horrible. So now with that being said, I allocated a certain budget for housing, okay? but I wasn't ready to pull the trigger until it fit in my daily routine and it fit my lifestyle, my long-term goals. And, and you maintain an emergency fund, you know, and that's all you can do. Look, a, a catastrophe could happen. This could be a mistake, but I try to use all the wisdom, all the patience, all the discernment and the grace of God to try to mitigate as much risk as possible. And I feel this is wisdom for me in this season. Could it end up being a wrong decision? Sure. You know, I'm not God, you know, but I try to do the right thing. I try to do things in order. And I felt this was the next step in order. So I'll make more videos uh, of me and the home base and different things, but I don't know how much. I mean, because to me, I don't spend most of my day here. I st still spend most of my day outdoors. Uh, and that's key why I didn't want a house. I didn't want a condo. An RV and an RV lot kind of fits my lifestyle. Okay, uh, you can build a single family concrete block house here. You can put a module home or you can put a different RV. So I, I feel good about all my options. I feel good about, you know, the land long term and everything. So, you know, like I say, guys, it's a nervous though. It's a big decision, a very big decision. And, um, you know, I'm sweating now, not because it's a big decision, because I cut off the AC, because the AC is loud, even in a, um, in a big tra travel trail like this, as far as like making a video, it's louder than, I don't want you to hear that in, in the video, but I wanted to make a video, I know you want me to see me inside the RV, but just note that I'll still be making most of my videos, probably at least initially, from my car or from driving around, uh, certainly my live feeds, at least initially, I'm settling in, I'm testing, I'm gradually balancing my life, and that's what this is, balance and stability. I was on the road five years full-time, no home base, and I went through car breakdowns, I went through pandemics, I went through being sick, uh, I went through a lot of things. Uh, the major thing I always tell you 
and then I'll conclude this video is maintain a job, pick up a side job and keep your current vehicle because that gives you a lot of options for your future. But when you quit your job, you don't have a second source of income, no side hustle and you don't and, and you bought a new vehicle or a different vehicle, then you're, you're going backwards. You know, you, you're, you're making yourself more vulnerable for future issues. Now, again, there's no guarantee in life. So I, I don't want you to just do exactly what I do, but I want to say this, this is my thought process and how I got here and what I wanted to share with you. So hopefully my videos help coming live or coming from my RV, my new home base on the lot that I own uh, in South Florida on the beach. Uh, thank you to all my longtime supporters. Thank you to all my longtime viewers. You appreciate this video. Please click the thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank you and I look forward to making more videos. Thank you. Take care.